Box! Two relatively tall welterweights. Both want to set up behind the jab. As Cavello said yesterday, Antonio's best as a counterpuncher. I'd like to try to make him lead. But at the end of the day, I have to create action one way or the other. There's Margarita over the top with a flinging right hand and now a good solid body shot with the left hand. And that's the counter punch move that he was speaking of. Hard right hand lands for Margarita. Gavillos grabs him and wrestles him into the ropes. Cavella seems to be unsteady and unsure of himself at this stage right here. Looking at his facial expression. Seems to be very uncomfortable. Well, Howard Grant told us yesterday that Cavellas can be a slow starter, that he needed to be a fast starter in this fight. Well, it's Margarito who's getting the fast start, and he just placed Cavellas with another quick right hand. And Margarito's placing all of his shots properly. If he keeps going at this pace here, this fight's not going to be going much longer than the last fight. Cavellas is going to have to start throwing some punches back to get some respect, even if it's just a jab. Yeah, Cabello's just hasn't been assertive enough in this round to give Margarito the resistance that might slow him down. This is the kind of fight in which Margarito gets going and just keeps letting his hands go free. An uppercut seemed to stagger Cabello's momentarily. Well, you let a guy keep throwing all the punches sooner or later, just playing the numbers games. He's got to start contacting. Especially with a puncher like Margarito, the first contact he makes may end the fight. Right hand again by Margarito. Cabellos is having trouble handling Margarito's power. I was wrong. This is going to go this could be the same fight. as the last fight. A long armed Margarito just keeps throwing and throwing. Same thing he did to Six Heads Lewis in the second round. Yeah. He's placing his punches very good tonight. Cabellos gets in a body shot, but it does little to slow down Margarito. No, this has been a brutal though. first round. Hard body shot by Margarito. Cabellos tries again to throw back. Manages to land a right hand. Gets in a left hook too. Margarito kind of smiles at him. Cabellos got away with a low blow. That'll help too. Stop. Break. Stop with the mouth. Pare la campana. Let's go. And just as Pete Frisina made it out of round one against Rob. He's got to start contacting when he's throwing punches from different angles like that. Antonio Margarito comes to hurt you. By CompuBox estimate, in the first round, he threw 86 power shots, landing 32 of them. And as you can see, from all angles, every kind of punch, hooks, uppercuts, overhand rights and lefts, there's a good right hand inside by Cavillos. I think the biggest factor in the first round was the fact that Cavello's eyes showed you that he really didn't feel confident. I don't think he can handle Margarito's power, and there's the first knockdown of the fight. Six, seven, eight. You okay? You walked on me. You walked. Yeah. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Walked on me. He's walked really me. hurt. It's over. It's Unsteady over. Leg. They should stop the fight. They shouldn't give him a chance. I don't think to keep. No, he's going to fall on his own without getting hit. A good moment to stop it as he falls into the ropes by himself and. His trainer, Howard Grant, gets up on the apron with a right towel, which was exactly the right thing to do. It was